Good morning, ladies and gentle truckers. My name is Pedro, and you're watching Trucker Josh. Special thank you to Pedro for the intro. I appreciate that. We're running these walk and runs back and forth together all last week and this week. So he's a good friend of mine. You can find him on Instagram. He takes amazing pictures. These great pictures you've been seeing every now and then pop up in my vlogs. I don't take those. I'm not good with pictures. I'm not even very good with video. I'm just good with yapping and talking about nothing for a long period of time. But Pedro is really good with his camera. Go check him out. I'll put his link down below in the description. Talked about him before. I've shown him in the past couple of weeks of vlogs. He's got that purple Kenworth you saw in the intro there behind mine. Great guy. Go give him a follow on Instagram. So today, you guessed it. Once again, we're on our way down to Wapton, North Dakota. It's been a good run. Just got loaded. I'm ready to hit the road. We're going to go to Tim Hortons and Winkler again just because it's easier to get my truck close to the building. Last week I was stopping at the Timmy's and Carmen here, but then it's very hard to get turned around because it's a two lane road and it's west of here, but I have to go south. So I have to turn west, go get my Timmy's, figure out how I can turn around, come back to this highway and then go south here. And it's very hard to turn around. I was getting kind of frustrated in the mornings. I was like, well, there's gotta be something better. So I went on Google and I searched where the Tim Hortons locations are around me. It's a much easier location to access in Winkler at the corner of Main Street and Highway 14 if you're familiar with the area. Look at this lineup for the border. I've seen worse, but man, they must have like one window open or something. This is probably about a half mile long. I've seen it where it's been several miles long. And the line keeps steadily moving forward. So it's, it's what it is. Shouldn't take us too long. As they come in, they get shipped out. I guess that's why we're so busy. I asked them, and those are going straight to the fields. They're used for drainage, I believe, in the big fields here, and they have to, like I was telling you yesterday, right? They have to have them in the ground uh, before the ground freezes. And we have a few months before that, but uh, I don't know if everybody waited till the last minute, or I guess you had to wait till after harvest, right? You have to get the crop off the field first. I'm not a farmer, I'm just helping them out. So uh, tomorrow we got another one of these coming down to Wapton. I was wondering where they were putting them all, right? Because uh, they're all along here. You can see in the mirror there, they go all the way back there. And I was just thinking, like, we've been hauling, hauling and hauling, going back and forth here. And uh, I was wondering, where are they putting them all? It looks like they're disappearing faster than we're bringing them. It's because, yeah, as fast as we can bring them here, they're being shipped out and sold. So I did some paperwork here. It took another 15 minutes to get me unloaded. And really quick, super quick, like 15 minutes. I was unloaded, that guy over there was loaded with my stuff and he had it tied down. It's been a really good week, I love doing this stuff. But, uh, so after that I came in here, did some paperwork, I sent in my, uh, my proof of delivery, uh, watched a little bit of TikTok, wasted about five minutes, 10 minutes, almost 15 maybe. Then I look down here and I'm like, oh, if I stay here for another four minutes, I get my half hour break. And then I don't have to stop for a half hour down the road because I don't have quite enough hours to get to the border on my US hours of service. I might, but it'd be very close. And I don't like cutting it that close. So I can just wait another couple of minutes here and I don't have to worry about running out of hours on the way north. We're going back to Carmen. Maybe there's some farmers in my comment section who can explain to everybody what these are actually used for. I know they're drainage for on the fields and you need lots of it. I don't know how you use it or what, 
do you like connect one end to a pump and you pump the water there's not a lot of standing water out here right now though is there i thought i would think you would need that more in springtime to pump all the water off the field maybe that's what they're doing now they're gonna get they're gonna get all these hoses in the ground before it freezes so that in springtime they don't have to that would make sense in springtime they can't get into the ground because it's frozen so they'll put it in the ground this year and then next year they can just turn the pumps on and pump all the water out of their field is that right any farmers in my comment section can uh, verify that for me i mean that's my best guess it's for the farmers whatever it does it uh helps them make me food and you know me i like my food a little too much my engine fan always kicks up so much dust it's kind of annoying sometimes because the engine's not even getting hot but when you idle when you got the air conditioning on especially when you're in reverse the engine fan will flip on right normally that wouldn't matter except mine seems to blow at the engine and all around including straight down at the ground so when you're on a, a lot like this with loose dust and loose gravel as soon as the engine fan comes on it's just whoo just a big cloud of dust comes up and it just makes your truck filthy look at my hood I haven't gone off the pavement except for in this parking lot all week. It's just when I'm here, my engine fan kicks on and then all the dust sits on my truck. Some of it blows off once you get onto the highway, but uh, a lot of it stays on. Well, what can you do? What can you do? There could be worse problems, but uh, it doesn't mean that's not a problem. It's still a problem. It might be a first world problem. But still a problem. Let's go. Sing for me, old blue. Sing me your song. Let's get all this dust blown off of you best we can. said before for fuel economy reasons my average speed is between 62 and 65 miles an hour that's where this truck likes to sit it gets the best fuel mileage there I've been averaging just over seven miles per gallon this week US gallons and I'm pretty happy with that you know, some of these other guys are like saying oh yeah I'm getting eight nine miles per gallon huh that's nice but you don't have one of these <laughs> got to pay the hood tax I'm fine with that. It's worth it. So back up to Carmen we go. Let's grab another one. Tomorrow is Thursday, I believe, right? Yes, Thursday tomorrow, and then one more on Friday, maybe. We'll see. We're playing it day by day here. And then the weekend. It's a long weekend. In Canada, it's Thanksgiving weekend. It's Canadian Thanksgiving. It's exactly the same as American Thanksgiving. We all get together with our families and eat turkey and way too much food. We just do our Thanksgiving in October because our harvest season is earlier than most of the harvest season in the US. It's, our fall comes sooner. In November, it could be snow on the ground already. So we have October, Canadian Thanksgiving, same as yours. And then in November, we have Memorial Day which is the same as your Veterans Day in the U.S. And then after Remembrance Day, sorry, I called it Memorial Day. It's uh, That's an American holiday too, I believe. It's called Remembrance Day. Everybody wears a red poppy, which is like a red flower to remember our, our soldiers. Anyways, after Remembrance Day on the 15th, I believe, of November, it is straight downhill to Christmas. Woo! Galchut, 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 Galchut. That way. Oh, we got a fire. Something's on fire. 
right behind my mirror right now. What is that? That looks like a pretty big fire. If I wasn't in the big commercial truck, I'd go and uh, check it out. Oh my, look at that. Wow, that's gotta be something big. There's only farms in this area. Man, I hope someone's barns aren't burning down. Or I should word that better. I hope it's not someone's barn burning down. I got to English correctly. Oh my, look at that. Probably doesn't look as big in the fisheye lens, but that is a big, big column of smoke. easy today on the filming I don't know what was burning it couldn't figure it out it looked pretty big though right it looked like that was a fire that was probably not on purpose or maybe it was on purpose but it turned into a whole lot of not on purpose real quick this we'll find out um, I'll probably forget about it tomorrow by the time we go past there maybe they'll maybe we'll see what it was then no idea but by the looks of it, for the rest of this week, we're going to be doing these uh, Wapton runs still. And then it's a long weekend. I think I was telling you, it's Canadian Thanksgiving this coming weekend. I'm looking forward to eating way too much. And then it's Remembrance Day. I told you this, right? And when I say it's all it's downhill to Christmas from Remembrance Day, that's a good kind of downhill. It's meaning you just like put it into Mexican overdrive and you just fly down the hill. With your hands in the air. Woo! I love Christmas. I love Christmas. Britt loves Christmas. Our whole family, both sides, love Christmas. It's our favorite season, favorite time of year. We have to hold ourselves back, okay? And we hold ourselves back until after Remembrance Day. That's as much as I can do. And then we go kind of crazy, and I know I always get the comments from our wonderful American neighbors saying, what about Thanksgiving? That's why we have our Thanksgiving in October, so that we get that out of the way, so that we can focus on the important stuff, Christmas. But you shouldn't put up Christmas decorations before Remembrance Day. I I would love to, and I used to. And I used to do that in honor of Remembrance Day. Because we're remembering that we can celebrate this season because of those who came before us who went to war and died for my right to celebrate Christmas. So I used to put up my Christmas decorations as like a thank you, as a tribute to our past soldiers. But people, people, well, people on my vlog here, they didn't like that too much still. And, uh, you know, they got a point. Uh, they talked me into it, you know, hold off, hold off, you know, we'll keep the leash on me until after Remembrance Day. And then, and then you can let me free and wild. But uh, thanks for tuning in. This is a little bit of a short, short update video for you guys today. And uh, we'll get these uh, pipes all, well, I don't know if you call it pipes or hose. Is it a hose or is it a pipe? Because I think it's a hose because you roll it up in a big ball, right? And you put it on my trailer. A pipe to me is straight and you stack them up. But a hose you can roll up. But they call this pipe. It's a pipe hose or a hose pipe. Anyways, all of this stuff has to get onto the fields. Actually, on the way home today, I didn't put it on the camera, but the fields alongside the I-29, I could already see where this stuff was being delivered to. You could see it out on the fields. I guess the farmers, I don't know. Like I already tried to explain it before. I don't know exactly what they do with it, but I'm seeing it out on the fields already, and maybe, uh, hopefully somebody in the comments section can educate me a little bit on what's going on with this, this hose pipe, this pipe hose. Doesn't really matter to me what they use it for, but I'm, uh, I appreciate it that they're buying so much of it. It's keeping me very busy. I hope it's helping you in uh, whatever uh, you're using it for. 
hope it's useful to you. I'll see you tomorrow. I got a bit more footage for tomorrow already. I edited this video a day late, so for me now, filming this clip, it's already Thursday night. I'm gonna put together Thursday's video right away too. We got a lot more footage today. Uh, there's four of us down there unloading at the same time. Uh, I gotta show you all their trucks. Uh, wait till you see some of my coworkers' trucks. Like you think uh, Pedro's truck is nice. It's nice, right? Uh, Ernie's also got a really nice Peterbilt with a, a, a air ride front suspension and fresh paint job. You're gonna love that. And then Mike also has a very nice uh, Kenworth also. It's got an anteater nose, but he keeps it clean and mint. It looks awesome. I'm gonna show it in tomorrow's video. So you get to uh, see a couple of the guys that I've been working with here for the past couple of weeks. That's in tomorrow's video. Today's video is finished. I'll see you later. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe.